Hello, everybody. What you doing on the show? I missed you so. Oh, that hurts. Okay. Ew. That one just came right the fuck out. Hey, everybody. How are you today? This is just how we're going to start this episode. Yay. Uh, Welcome, for anybody who's new to my channel, don't mind me, I'm an erratic weirdo, but I'll give you a good time, I promise, and this is just the start, that's wonderful. So, what's up with this queering? I feel like this queering, uh, as per usual, of course, is the one with the fuckery, that they are administering the fuckery onto another one, who is the fucky, you know, let's just get rid of, like, that shit out of the way right now, um, mmm. Dude, I gotta tell you, since Saturn's gone direct, it's like, bam, shit's just on point for me again, and it's like, oh, I know exactly what this is telling me. Like, last night was a surprise. Today, it's just like, oh, I, I oh, okay, well, like, this person is, uh, this queerant right now is, you know, trying to create a ghost. Trying to create a ghost? Or trying to kill, or, or trying to kill something that they, like, if it was a person, it's kind of like what was last night, where the person, like, keeps fighting the guilt, which is in a form of a monster that haunts them every night, relentlessly, uh, much like, uh, the fucking hound from H.P. Lovecraft, you know, in that story, um, grave robbers came in, and this thing hunted them relentlessly until it got its item back. Nobody survived, just so you know. Um, that's just how it goes, but... You should read that story, because it's really good. Because it'll definitely relate to this, I feel like. Mm. Remember, kids, this could resonate with you. This could not resonate with you. Doesn't really matter. If you don't believe in it, it won't come true. Just boop your nose, and away it goes. Or maybe it will, and it'll just surprise you. One of the two. You never really know. All depends on fate, really. Uh, or what the Rixum, or universe, as most people call it, would say. Honestly. But don't take the shit too seriously. After all, life is a game. And I mean that in every sense of the fucking word. Anyway, let's see what this querent is up to. Five of wands. And the devil reverse. So... Hmm. Okay. Ah, there that is again. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. Ooh, what is this spirit? This is not what I thought it was at all. No, 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 no. This isn't what I thought of at all. And that's passion to deal with this shit over here. Lovers? The hanged man. What's the vibration, please? The world. Things are coming together for this queer. All right. So I was a prejudiced asshole, and I was completely fucking wrong. There are they are trying to kill a ghost, but it's originally the person who did shit to them. I feel like, or I was right, and they can't stop reliving the shit just like the queer from yesterday. But it's not the same group of people. I'll, I'll tell you that so much right now. Something. Either it's the person who's doing the horrible shit or it's the person who went through it. But it feels like... Uh, like, they're not happy. They're pretty bitter about how shit went down one way or another. And I really feel like this is the person who was doing, like, the traitorous stabby stabs with the five swords, you know? Uh, but they want to take passion and action when dealing with this because they're at the crossroads with it. But at the same time, it's like... Are they fighting to get out of this bad energy? Or are they the ones who's fighting to keep it going? Because this shit's getting separated. Also, Capricorn right here. Mind you, um... Interesting things I've been learning. That psychic sounds by B chick. Um, she's interesting. I have to say, I don't agree with um, her political stances. You know, like the whole guns thing. I've never understood the guns thing because it was never about guns that got people to dismantle themselves um, in tyranny. 
It was um, the fact that everybody believed the person who sounded good. That, that, that was the downfall. Like, fuck the guns. Who gave a shit about the guns? Uh, you know, Germany was banned from making guns in World War I. Yet, they made them and started attacking people, creating World War II in a sense. So what the fuck did that have to do with anything? You know, it's like they say, you know, like, criminals are still going to get guns. And, and Germany literally did the most illegal thing ever. They made their own guns. You know, I'm just saying. It's not weapons. It's what people do with weapons. And words are like the greatest weapon. But... Besides that, just how I feel about that whole thing, you know, like her latest video on Saturn Return was interesting because I learned more about how I have been used in the universe than what the universe has let me know. Like, it's, it, like, it's literally come to a point where it's just like... A lot of the shit that's happened to me in the last three years was supposed to happen because I had to make things happen. And it was just like, what the fuck? Like, weird craziness, dudes. Like, just we like weird shit ever since yesterday. Just, ugh. Mm. Mm mm mm. Mm. And you know. The devil is an enemy to most people. To me, he is not an enemy as much as he is a, uh, you know, because, like, let's be clear, I'm a witch, right? Like, I don't, I really don't give a fuck about, like, how Western religion in itself has, like, shaped this particular individual, this David Bowie with black corporate infecting wings looking motherfucker with the ridiculous sassy shoes right like look at those fucking shoes those are ridiculous and i will never get over that like it's hot pink at that but that's beside the point you know that like just ignore that right but the devil if you really sit there and think about it from being a devil's advocate, you know, coming from me, I'm a Capricorn, right? He was about rebellion. He was about individuality. He was about breaking rules because the rules were a restriction from him, right? Or for him, I mean, my apologies. Um, it was all about critical thinking, um, self-analyzation, you know, that was his whole purpose in that garden. But as you go along and learn the stories about him from the Bible, you know, he really never sounds like a bad guy as much as he is as initiate for a different form of transformation. Like, yes, like, you know, a lot of people believe in God, but it's like, you know, how do you know that everything that's been told to you about this particular identity is true? Because without this identity, how would we be able to figure out what is and is not of us? Um, he gave us the ability to learn good and evil by lying to us, which was a deceitful thing to do. But without it, could we have grown the way we have? Sure, it was a fucked up thing to do. But he, the, the devil is literally like Thanos. He wants to save the world. He just does it in really messed up ways. Doesn't make sense. But this is like lesson learned with this. And it's like... I don't know where I was going with that, honestly. I was just rambling. But anyway, I don't know. It's just, there's something here... Hmm, I don't know. This isn't the same person from yesterday, but it's just like... Nick of time. Nick of time. Oh, Nick of time, like it's last second. Okay, all right, okay. I don't know what the fuck that means. Gretchen, do you know what that means? Cora, Murphy, Edward. No? Okay. Oh. Quite a few. Let's see. There's knowledge about this closed door. Like, somebody has some idea about it. But it's like they are kind of losing strength to hold it open enough. So now it's just kind of like a tuck. So now they've got to get some information on how to open it again. They just don't have the ability to. Um, or 
They are just trying to hold out with their broken heart, right? I have no idea what the fuck I was talking about with all the other shit. Including the devil. I don't even know where the fuck that came from. I don't know who actually said that, honestly. But it was like... Mmm. Well, there's... Like, someone's gonna find something important about that. Because, like, I, would, I wouldn't have said that if that was important. Like, um, well, I don't know. But it's like... Someone should have learned the lesson and they didn't. Like, they want a second round with the devil, and it's just kind of like the devil's just like, you know, I'll play all goddamn day if that's really what you want to do. But I will leave once I am bored. You know? So, this Five of Wands, all this conflict leading to passionate action, dealing with this where someone just can't get over what the hell happened. Because there is a new cycle beginning. All of the craziness that's in the background that someone doesn't see, that's accumulating together, too. This is like a new cycle. There's a lot of fighting. Oh, Lord. Someone's playing chess of the minds, and it's not good. There's a lot of head games going around. Distress. Confusion. What kind of piece are you? Are you a pawn? Are you a knight? Are you a rook? Are you a bishop? Are you a king or are you a queen? Seven of Wands, Reserve, Endure. Ugh, that doesn't sound too snazzy. Uh, they're not, and they're not reaching out, they're not communicating about anything, they're not saying, like, this person's in a lot of conflict, this querent is. Like, that's pretty heavy, dude, like. Like, extremely. Like, I can I can feel a little bit of the sadness, but I feel more spite and anger. Um, it's, like, constant, too. It's just in there. And now no one's communicating, reach now. No one feels like they're in heaven. Like, that's... Like, like, it's the Five of Wands and the Five of Swords, so it's just kind of like... With the Seven of Wands, it's like, it's a lot of fucking... I don't know. It's like someone still thinks... Okay, let's say it's like... Kind of like between two people, right? Someone still thinks that they're in a battle with the Five of Wands. And they're still playing the Jess game, enduring, not reaching out and communicating, right? Because I could go that way too. But, this person's surrounded by this bullshit and they don't even fucking realize how unhappy they are. Like, they're so busy, like, this person could be so busy playing a game with another person, which is why they're out of this devil reverse situation, but they, but it's not clicking. Someone hasn't learned a fucking lesson with the devil yet. They're trying to do the lesson all over again with the devil. Which is just like, my whole point of being here was to teach you critical thinking, and yet you're coming back to me after you haven't thought about anything at all. Okay, we can do the lesson all over again. I don't give a fuck, you know? Like, that to me is a little bit dangerous. They can also talk about doing it to yourself as well, queer it. But this person's living and thinking. They are, they are constantly on a battlefield. It's like they physically show it. Their mentality displays it. They are always, almost. it's almost like they're always on the offensive more than the defensive. Like they're being offensive in order to defend themselves. There's, they might even, I don't know, like react to people in a certain aggressive way. Without even realizing it, you know? Hmm. Man, I'm talking a lot of shit tonight for someone who cuts onions. <laughs> anyway. The devil reverse. Capricorn. Hi. You know. Reverse. Uh, someone's out of a um, bad relationship. A lot of people like to say toxic. And I'm not a fan of it, but I haven't found the better word to su substitute yet. So toxic will do. But it's like getting out of a very nasty, toxic relationship. Which is interesting because the lovers is over here. 
Also, Gemini's card. Um, which really makes me wonder how this Quirit saw this relationship to begin with. Or if, if it was with a Capricorn or a Gemini. That, that makes me very curious because it's like one of these things is not like the other. Hell, Five of Fucking Swords over here is a really... It's confusing. It's like... There was love, then there was treachery, and now there's nothing. But someone wants to come back for a second help and a whoop-ass with a side dish to shut the fuck up. You know? What is this? <laughs> oh, lord. Yeah, I th it has to be an Earth sign, possibly Capricorn, right? We got the Ten of Pentacles. Um, someone realized that this person was a fucking treasure, or this relationship that was toxic was a treasure, right? However, an Earth sign, once again, and I don't think this is the same... I don't think that... Saturn just went fucking direct. Okay. Anyway. Oh, that's a lot of people, then. Oh, maybe that's why I mentioned the devil, because... It literally Saturn represents it like pan uh, okay this isn't just um any queer right? this is people who are dealing with the Saturn going direct thing that makes way more fucking sense now um, okay so with this devil someone realized that this um bad toxic relationship right was a treasure because the Knight of Coin right here easily could be Capricorn as well, or the, someone with Earth in their chart, or even just somebody in the energy of the Knight of Coins, right? Anchor Essence. This was a uh, valuable offer that this person was delivering. Well, that motherfucker flew the fuck away because he didn't take the bait. Devil Reverse again. Magnetism lore, it was not. Hmm... This might be, but I still feel like this is a particular person. I'm talking a lot, and I don't know why. Oh my god. But I feel like this has a lot to do with the Saturn return, too. Because it's just like, especially yesterday, because that was kind of pissing me off. It's just like, why is this Queen of Pentacles up my ass today? Like, she needs to go away. <laughs> go live in the woods where you were. Mature, um, pentacle having bitch, you know? Like, it was just like, she was everywhere. Everywhere. But this is starting to make more sense. And I'm totally getting into these more, a lot more than what I thought before. So it's just like, uh. However, uh, warning them with, um, Saturn going direct, be on your goddamn toes. I, and I'm serious about that, because, like, he's waking up and he's looking for anything, because he's missed shit, you know? Let's see. Oh, Lord. Okay, so this person who's, I really feel like mentally having a battle with somebody by not communicating, right? They still love this person. They want to embrace them. They want to hug them. They want to give them a big hug, which is late. Okay, make up your, your, your mind, bro. Okay, whatever. Um... They don't want to be separated. But they don't want to give them anything either to, to do... To, to fucking... God damn it. Like, they won't give a person the flower while they're sick. Okay? That's what I'm trying to say. They want the relationship, but they're not going to give that person the apple. Or they feel like that person should give them the apple instead. Like, they, they think that they shouldn't have to make the first move. Which is like, you know, is it really about making the first move or is it just because you don't want to be the one that has to come up and probably say sorry first? Because those are two completely different things, but they can be substituted for one another, you know, easily. Yeah, like I'm just, you know, I'm just calling it how I'm saying it, man. Like, who cares um, who reaches out first? If you want somebody, go get them. Like, tell them you want them. If they don't want you, well, then you know that you fucked up. Go and then move on and realize you fucked up. Don't ever do it again. You know, regrets are just the friends that live in your head that remind you not to do the dumb shit you did before. That's all. Eventually, they go away. 
just like real people. But if you're not going to do anything, then this person's going to go away too. You know? The devil! <laughs> oh. Ew. Okay. Sorry, I'm still like dealing with the cough. Like, that is one thing I hate about being sick, man. Like, I end up coughing after I get sick for a while, so I can't really laugh. I have to chuckle like a maniac. Alright, with this devil card right here, someone, someone took, okay, someone's listening to a demonic cat and just letting that shit flow. Letting that cat just manipulate them, just being like, yeah, just go ahead and knock over that glass. It's okay. Nobody's gonna care. You're a human being, you know? Just saying snazzy shit or whatever. This queen of wands right here is tired of hearing this cat and just doing whatever the cat says just to shut the cat up for like five minutes and just haunts her dreams. Especially dealing with this hanged man over here. Ooh, plot thickens. Uh, all mad because she didn't get to go to heaven like everybody else. Once again, heaven's mentioned. Like, was not part of the... Like, they started floating and then... Archangel Michael was just like, oh, no, not you, and then just stopped playing it, so they went down. <laughs> they fell with, like, one of those, like, Looney Tunes sound effects. <laughs> oh, God, I'm having way too much fun with this tonight. <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't know, I needed this. I needed the break, you know, like... I don't know. I like talking to you guys. It's pretty cool. Okay, five of swords. God damn it, there's a queen of fucking pentacle involved. <laughs> Hello, bitch. How you doing today? I missed you. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Comfortable and happy she is not. She's not very blissful. She might be being a, a, an uber bitch, actually, in this position, right? Oh, well, she is not happy. <laughs> she is not happy about how this relationship has gone. She might still have love, but... She's... Mm. What? Okay, this queen is, is, is really fucking confused. Okay? The queen of pentacle is reverse. Comfortable, blissful. She is not. Like, she's not comfortable. She's not blissful, which means she's not pretty much happy. She's not content in the environment she's on. Like, imagine it... God, okay. Imagine this rock being too tiny for her, and she has to struggle to sit there. You know, instead of her being able to be laid out, and instead of her looking all surprised and shit like she heard a can of tuna, she's angry and she's metal. You know, that's how I'm looking at this, right? She's not in a position where she, um, would have been in any way nice. Like, imagine you walking up to a cat that's uncomfortable, probably wet, and you try to pet it and it doesn't even know you. That's how she would probably react. But this queer thinks that, like, I don't know, despite the exterior, like, she thinks this is like a twin flame soulmate kind of thing, and they all belong together with the chemistry infusion, like they mesh together, which they probably do, but I don't think, you know, um, stabbing somebody five times really tells somebody that. that that'll probably make a bitch uncomfortable. You know, I'm just like, I'm just putting that out there because it's like there, there's something there's something up in the um, there's something up in the queer and head that I'm not entirely understanding because it's kind of like yesterday. Like, I, and honestly, I really don't think these are the same people. Um, if they are for you, cool. But for me, the way I'm feeling it as I'm reading it, it's like a lot of people are going through the same shit, but on different vibes. So a lot of the vibrations are very, very similar. But it's like, I know that's not the same person, but it's almost like the same exact fucking energy. And it's, it is messing with me. It's like, um, I don't know. Uh, imagine your girlfriend keeps 
pointing at a diamond ring and you get her one that's made of ruby instead which she specifically said she likes diamonds and it's not that you can't afford it you just decided to get it because you're just like oh well i thought she wanted rubies instead of listening to her it's one of those things and then like she gets pissed off enough to leave you and then all of a sudden you're just like oh well she'll be back she loves me, and, and you literally decorate your house saying this bitch is going to be back. Or you assume she still wants you back, despite the fact that she's shown you she's fucking done. She's frustrated. She's annoyed. All of that shit, right? And that's what that's kind of how I feel about the Queen of Coins right now. Like, she's annoyed. Like, she, like, like I mean, like, that's most Earth signs. Like, we're annoyed, like, 95% of the time. But still, we find cheery sides. But this bitch is currently annoyed at both of this right here. Not... She doesn't want chemistry, and she doesn't give a fuck about the twin flame. She's too annoyed to give a shit. Like, if you annoy, if you annoy any Earth sign, we don't care. That's just how it is. We just don't care. And it's either somebody with this in their chart, or they're carrying that energy of "I don't care." You're annoying. Um, I don't even care what you've done to me. You're just annoying at this point now. Like, it doesn't even... Like, she's not even mad. She's just uncomfortable. And... It's like this fucking queer doesn't see what it is. Like, I don't know. Like, I get it. Because, I guess... I don't know. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Like, this like this queer thinks they belong together. But they think that... She thinks they belong together. And that's what's confusing the shit out of me. It's like, do you not understand what the fuck projection is? Like, I mean, it's kind of getting on my nerves because it's just like, it's common sense, you know? It's like common sense that if you want somebody, you give them what the fuck they might want to want you. You know, if you want a girl to like be your girlfriend, take her out to dinner because you know bitches like to eat, right? That's the whole point of fucking dating. Getting a girl to like you enough to think, oh yeah, I'll spend my life with you because you know we'll all get bored of you at some point and we're going to need that me time. That's just how all women are. We need me time. At first, we want to spend all our time with you to the point we're annoyed. Then after a while, we just don't give a fuck. Just go do whatever the fuck you want. Don't bother me. Leave me alone. You find your own activities. I want to find shit to do, right? That's just how that shit goes sometimes. But if you're starting a relationship or trying to rekindle a relationship, you got to give somebody something in order to embrace them, you know? And I feel like this queer it doesn't get it. It's like, if you want something, you have to put the work in. And that's what's kind of getting on my nerves. And that's why I'm talking. I am talking so much tonight. It's ridiculous. All right. Thank you. Um, the root of the feelings, the empress, reverse, bitter, angry, petty, Aries, Taurus, Libra, that Venetian energy. Um, however, turn into a total um, cesspool of anger, bitterness, and probably really weird soap operas that your mom would watch. Oh, Lord. King of Pentacles, reverse. Someone's acting like they heard a can of tuna. They're acting like they heard a can of tuna, even though there wasn't a can open. <laughs> Being all confused, acting like, oh, I don't, I don't, well, I'm kind of annoyed because someone woke me up from my nap. You know, um, feeling tortured and crucified and like reacting to it horribly. Like not reacting with a lot of unearthly and mystical shit, but more like a. More like childish, like uh, wow, like one of those, like uh, like a kid crying, really, you know, just expressing uh, like a lot of emotion, like verbally, but with no fucking words. They just got their mouth open with their tongue hanging out, like ah. ah. Like, not even really saying anything. It's just like, what's wrong with you? Ah! And then you gotta sit there and interpret what the fuck they're saying through their grunts and moans and shit. And it's just like, well, is it an eh day or an uh day? And then they're just like, eh! And then they're just like, oh, well, that's a fucking new one. I don't know what to do with that, man. Shit. You know? That's what they're kind of doing. <laughs> like, just being, uh. Like, it's almost like they're acting surprised. That's 
Now they're stuck. Or at least tortured and crucified. You know? Which is weird. Like the King of Pentacles, um, dedicated and adamant, they are not. It's like they're surprised that, like, that King... And that's the counterpart to the Queen of Pentacles. Actually. They're both fucking reverse. Hmm. This square is very confused, I feel like. Alright. The world. They manifested this new beginning or this cycle ending in order to start something new for success and rule and to be the overlord and supremacy of it all. What the fuck? Okay. That's a lot of passion. What? Okay, I'm like... Man, I wish I was kind of drinking right now, because this would make way more sense. <laughs> like, shit. Okay, so. Their vibrations literally just to start something new so they actually have control over things. Like, to manifest that new rule so they can be in control of how things go. But I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that energy at all. That's like, um... That's a lot of determination. For one person, you know? I feel like this is gonna be a super long one and I'm not meaning for it to be, but if you guys enjoy this, like, let me know. Because I don't mind taking my time. Uh, let's see. Alright, with this five of swords up here, they thought they were gonna be a victor. Shower their wreaths on the people, like, here, bitch, wear my merch, you know? Um, and someone would come trying to tug on uh, to get some of that happiness, right? Wow, that's a fucked up person. Okay. <laughs> that's a really fucked up way to look at things. Okay, wait. Hold up. They expected this Queen of Pentacles to come back thinking like, oh, we're twin flames and shit like that. I love you or whatever. And that, um, what the fuck is this other card? Let me look at the shit. And that would be chemistry infusion. So they may bestow their wreath onto them like, yes, you know what? You are blessed because you are lucky. I love you enough to take you back. Here, tug on my fucking flag so we can both have a good time together playing tug of war. Are you shitting me right now? Is someone really... Is this queer really this arrogant? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm... Like, it's been a, a good day at work. I'm having a really good time right now. And it's like, damn, man. Like, that's... Like, for anybody who is this queer I'm sorry. But, like, you have a lot of ego. Like, if, if I'm interpreting this right, you expected this Queen of Pentacles who was uncomfortable with the situation to begin with because you weren't giving her anything to make her think that this was worth the shit, right? Listening to other motherfuckers so none of this shit would actually happen so there was no bait to be taken. You expected her to come back thinking that y'all were meant to be together and just want the fusion so you could, like, give them the blessing and be like, you may hang off of my glorious threads. Of my flag because this is where I post it I'm the owner of this flag I'm the captain of this ship and I will sink it just to watch you drown you know are you shitting me right now is that really the energy I'm reading cuz like you know I was like kudos to you for having balls to think like that man like damn like that's a new sort of aggression I've never fucking seen <laughs> Oh my goodness, like, that is crazy, dude. Like, I would, like, I don't, I, like, you know, I praise your mentality, because I like that. I do. But that's because I'm a Capricorn, you know, like, power intrigues me greatly. It definitely draws me. But it's also, like, I, only because I just want to see what the fuck happens next. For the most part. All right. Empress Reverse. Somebody's really angry. Oh my god. Like, <laughs> Who do you want to stab? Oh my god. Wow, dude. Like, are you that serious about it? You are that mad that you wanted to attack somebody. 
Because you couldn't delegate or uh, debate or have a discussion with them. Talk about, like, did you want to attack somebody and then try to talk to them? Or did you want to stab somebody because they wouldn't talk to you? One more on that. Okay. The actual, okay. So... You want to attack somebody because they wouldn't delegate with you? But you still wanted them to stick around and make roots with you. Carry all of your swords as a burden. Follow you. Dude, that is like really fucking dark. Like, I don't know, man. Like, is that really fair to do to somebody else, though? To expect them to take on all of your burdens, all your mentality for you? Just because, like, I don't know, because you're upset? Like, is that really fair? Is that really a kind... Like, would you like it for somebody to do that same shit to you? The thing so low of you that they have to get your blessing in order for you to find happy... For them to find happiness? To get off on the idea that, um... Like, I don't even know if you did anything wrong. That's, like, the crazy thing. Like, I don't even think you did anything wrong. But it's, like, it's just that mentality I'm seeing. That energy. Those actions. It's, like... Is that really cool, man? Like, you know... I don't want to be, like... Like, queer it. I don't want to be... A jerk. But I'm going to add a butt in. Because that's what assholes do, right? So take me as an asshole. Don't... Like, you know, you don't have to listen to a fucking word I say. Like, you know, I'm just a random person on the internet. Like, I'm just reading tarot cards. or a million other people. But it, it seems like, even if you didn't do anything wrong, your attitude towards all of these events are... It would give somebody the wrong idea about what kind of person you really are. You know, like, fuck what you've actually done... It's the reflection of the... Of what's going on inside you, essentially. That is, um, troublesome. This world right here. Hi, kitten. How are you? Don't, don't. God. Okay. Hi, kitten. Kitten is here. There is no fear. Yeah, something didn't come together. Someone did not want to release the bird. One more. Oh, Lord. Okay. Okay. So. Look at, right? This is a dove. Sometimes doves are used as symbols of peace or whatever. Sometimes used for treaties. Sometimes just as a symbol of, you know, hey. I want to parlay or I want to talk to you, right? Motherfucker never sent that shit. And it's almost like they came to realize that these that they and the other person were on the same side. They had different types of wounds in them. And they might have still wanted to keep their guard up, yes. But it's almost like they're the same type of person. And then the high priestess is just like, oh my god. I saw that coming. But I'm gonna act like I didn't, you know? Like, wanting to act surprised. Like, well, no, she's not even surprised. She saw it. She already knew that it was gonna happen, but, like. Mm hmm. Hmm. Kitten. Cutie. Sorry, I'm drinking a monster. It is a mocha loca and it is delicious. Okay. Last row of cards. Because this is actually becoming a very long video. Mm. Well, I'm guessing I'm going to have to get used to this. I don't think Rixum's going to let me do him any less for a while. Shit's going on. Ah, uh, Querent. I hate scolding people, I really do, because I don't want to, like, be that guy, but at the same time, it's like, you know, 
I'm just looking at what it is and it's like it's not about the other person as much as it is for you because like you know I it's weird because I know that like that kind of way is not gonna help all, like, you know, guilt's one of those things that, like, me, a Capricorn, is very associated with because we carry guilt from shit that people have done to us. You know, we feel guilty for how the way people reacted with how they treated us badly for most of our lives. Guilt that, like, had nothing to do with us, but we still carry it around. We understand guilt really well. And I understand that if you carry a little bit of guilt in you, it grows. So you kind of got to be careful with it. Because, like, if you let it grow, then it just blows the fuck up. And then you lose your fucking shit. And then everything just turns terribly wrong. Sometimes, you know. Uh, if you lounge around too long, you're gonna go fucking crazy, you know. Um, sometimes you want to choose the coin over what you think you love. But then after a while, you lose the passion for it. And then you lose your mind. Officially. Passionate action. Passionate take. Everything we do is just gonna be fake. We don't know. So, Queen of Wands wants to calculate. So, mm. what are you calculating? How to get out of this dilemma, Queerit? But you are trapped and confined. You are stuck. Oh my. Queerant. Mm. Alright. The lovers. A Gemini's card. Like, I'm really sorry to anybody if I offended them. I didn't mean to, but it's like... You know, arrogance is a lot like power. If you, if you have too much of it, it'll fuck you up. And you won't even see it coming until it's too late. You know... Lovers, someone just didn't fit in. Period. And they had a mouth. <laughs> they had a mouth. Oh, Lord. Okay. Mm. This queer it, like. They alienated somebody. Bad. But they're expecting them to come back, so it's just like, like expect them to make make roots. Oh God. Okay. Um. There's a lot of shit that's this queer and has a lot of shit that I don't quite understand going on with them, and I don't think they understand what's going on with themselves at all. Like at all. What? Not one bit at all. It's like, it just, it does, like, the, the things that they're doing, it, it, it kind of, um, it's, it's kind of confusing me, because it's like they have, like, they have an idea about what they want their person to do, but it's from a perspective where... Okay, you know what? Years ago, when I was first in basic training, right, they decided to have a few volunteers for, like, a polygraph test. And I was curious. I wanted to see what it was actually like taking the polygraph test, right? And it was really interesting. Like, the dude even told me, you had really good parents because, like, they taught you right for wrong. Because when you lie, it's it picks it up really good. And this dude was, like, really confused once I started lying because, like, I had to pretend to be part of a robbery, like, the dude even said, you know, like, we're gonna rob this bitch and we're holding motherfuckers up. And it was just, like, he had the most, like, Bill Stein voice ever when he said, like, you know, we're gonna rob these bitches. And it was just kind of like, ooh, this is fucking exciting. And I was the driver, and I was just like, room, room, motherfuckers. Oh, it was so fucking great, right? What the fuck was it? And, like... This dude does the polygraph on me to check whether or not I actually was in this robbery. And I had to lie about it. And he came in and he was all confused because he could have, because like, you know, he could have swore I was telling the truth by the way I was acting. But it was just kind of like, you know, 
hey, um, da 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 da, like, I know you're faking it, and it's kind of like with this person, like, you know, uh, they're really good at faking whatever it is that they've done, or how they're feeling, more or less, like, I don't even know if they've done anything at all, really, well, they really, they, well, they haven't, but, you know, they, they're expecting the other person to, but that's beside the point, right, the point is, is, like, they can fake it, but they can't make it, you know, in their head, is where most of the problems is. Like, you know, they're trying to come up with some sort of plan to escape the whatever situation that's bothering them, but the problem is, is that it's all in their fucking mind. They're trapped and confined in their head. Like, fuck, this is an idea in their head that someone's gonna carry a bunch of swords for them. Just so they can walk up with their kid. Like, no, bitch, this, I'm just the ferry driver, you know? That's what somebody would fucking say. Like, why are you expecting the ferry driver to carry your stuff? Sorry, Murphy. My bad. You know, like, that's crazy. Hmm. This person, like, they're, they're really good at faking whatever it is that's bothering them. They know how to pretend really well. The hanged man. Oh, lord. Yeah, shift from the past is over. It's time to move forward. There are no more gifts and bounties from that. Oh, this song. They got a wish they really didn't mean to get. What does that mean? Hold on, I'm gonna move this song around. <laughs> Fuck, I'm already, like, doing so much shit anyway. It's already late. Fuck it. You go back this way. There we go. Nothing too fucking crazy. Anyway, um, gifts and bounties from the past are, like, gone, man. And there's some wish that they made that I think they don't desire anymore. Or something happened where they don't like it, and they're at the crossroads with that. But they missed the opportunity. Or this wish caused the opportunity to be gone. Huh. Interesting. But they knew it was fucking coming, so it was... Ugh. Okay, whatever. People are confusing to me sometimes, I swear. It's just... Or maybe I'm just, like, someone completely different, and I am too judgmental of the people I read for. Because I feel that way right now, but at the same time, it's like... If I don't say it, I don't know if anybody else will. Um... Alright, so first of all, if they thought they were going to look like a fucking hero to somebody, they were completely fucking wrong. Like, they're going to cut this bitch out, she's be like, she's going to punch him right in the face. He's going to be like, what was that for? I know you're the one who tied me up, you asshole. You know? But they just want to put these burdens down and not pick them up. It's like... They... It's like they don't want to bother explaining why the fuck they did this to a person in the first place. It's too much for them. It's like there's a problem with accountability with this person. Down here. Yeah. It's a knight of pentacle. Not delivering nothing. Nothing getting done. Like this person had a mouth about the, the breakup too. It's like they wanted to separate from the person. Make them. It's almost like they really exiled somebody. Talked shit about them after the separation. Now nothing's being offered to this person. And they just want to die. It's like, God damn it, I just want to die. Like, this shit's over, it's done with, it's getting buried. One more for that. Please. And a bunch of secrets are getting exposed without somebody approaching. Oh, that's ominous. Okay, well. Yeah, one more, what's that about? What, what the fuck is that about? 